video here that I've had a couple of people who have um, requested this video maybe five times a day for the last month and uh, they they are finally getting what they want. I have made this sound, I even bought up Albino which is the sound, uh, the synth that they wanted me to make it in. I haven't used this in ages so I had to get myself familiar with it and uh, make this sound which is the intro sound from uh, that famous obviously Skrillex song Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites Hooray, I fixed it up in my other video I said spirits and I've been slammed ever since there we go sorted alright so that was the sound that I made um, and I made it in Albino so for those two guys here you go this is exactly what you want it's pretty close anyway okay um, so what I did was I actually I I'll st I start off from the preset I started off with I don't know why I started off from this preset because it sounds nothing like the sound it just happened to be what came up when I first loaded Albino um, go to digital bases scroll down to the one that says one digi base obviously that sounds nothing like his synth so it's not like I cheated and I uh, started with a synth that sounded just like it. I had to use my knowledge. Alright, here we go. Okay, so first things first. Um, change the filter to Scream. Like so. Um, double click that. I mean, it doesn't really affect it, but just double click that and bring it back down to zero. Um, we'll turn the saturation up uh, afterwards. Alright, this is the the, the um, first oscillator. Okay, so on this one here, go to classic rich saw 4, down to 8, and on this wave here, down to uh, this one here, number 71, and put this one on 32. Put that about there. So you, this is this here is sort of mixing between these two different um, these two waves. Okay. Uh, now put the octave up one, and then once I put the spread up like a detune, you'll you'll straight away hear that this this is almost the sound right here. Okay, so that's almost the sound. All I had to do from there um, was basically beef up the lower end and get a bit of stability because obviously it's it's you know phasing and uh, because of I've, I've detuned it. Um, the second one, I'll keep moving. I again changed dig to digital. Now this one here, I sort of wanted it to be almost the same as the top one, which is our main sound to make his sound. But I wanted some stability with this one. Okay, I didn't want it phasing and. Uh, and the, you know to be all over the place like their top one um, so again I'll turn it on so click this little guy here or the, or the power button just there so that the oscillator is turned on and again we'll go to rich saw 4 this time I put it on 16 and again go down to C and then number 71 and number 16 as well bring this in about here so it's sort of similar as above um, and put this one up two octave up to off yeah up two octaves again. Um, bring the volume down a little bit. So let's have a listen to this one now. Okay, so it's almost the same as this one, but it doesn't have that detune sound. Okay, so this one is just a more stable sound. Add it back into the top one. It just gives it some nice stability right through the center of the sound. It's not phasing off to each side of your, you know, your speakers. Okay, and uh, we're pretty much there. So click on number three, so it brings up the third and the fourth oscillator. Um, this one here, I just wanted a the the main sort of the body of the sound, I guess the lower body of the sound. So number three is on, like so. Okay, this one was pretty easy. I just made this one a saw wave, left it at uh, 
zero here for the octave. Bought the volume down a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, that's what I wanted. And for the fourth one, I wanted just a sine wave just to beef up that lower end because the synth is predominantly, you know, like focusing on the high frequency of number one here. But, um, you know, you still want it to, when you play your notes, you still want it to sound like it's fitting in with your drums. So the sine wave, that's its job. Um, so obviously have number four turned on. It's already on sine, which is great. Um, and all I did was simply drop it one octave. Okay, so it's sitting below all the other synths. It was too overpowering. So use the volume uh, knob here to bring it down a little bit. I'm not actually using my monitor, so I don't like. It's all coming out of my um, computer speaker, so I can't quite tell. But I think that's how it should sound. Um, if the volume was up, it was too it was too muddy. So just bring the volume down. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty much the sound right there. I did go into the envelope here, the amp envelope, and I just actually put this attack up a little bit, so the, sort of the first night first note slides in like that and of course a bit of um, uh, saturation here okay that was it and also I did a little bit of um, some chorus uh, no not chorus some reverb action brought the wet down Turned it on, click this button here to turn it on. Um, like so. Um, that's pretty much the sound right there, I think. I, thought, I don't think I've missed anything out. No, that's pretty much the sound. And then, um, I've also... If I just play this, I've also got some sidechain compression on it. Um, just wait a minute, I'll sample it by itself. Just cutting out the very low frequencies, I'm boosting it a little bit in the low end, just 1 dB, um, uh, warming it up at three, uh, at 240 hertz, um, and I'm actually giving it some presence up here. Uh, up here in the high range, and I'm cutting out. Actually, I've actually um, passed, done a uh, a filter here because it had some seriously high frequencies. So I cut them out. Didn't want those killing my ears. So I, I'll turn that on. And also, I did have just a bit of the um, some reverb on it again, just the big room setting. So. <laughs> And his song, you can hear it, the sound is incredibly wide, sitting on the edge of each of your speakers. And if you do want that sound, a very easy way is just to add the sample delay on here at this um, 385 setting. So this is the difference. So that's how you make the sound. I realise um, I don't really even make dubstep. I don't know the drum beats. I don't have a sn like powerful snare like he does. But anyway, that's how you make that synth. Um, and I hope for those couple of guys that wanted to make that sound, I hope that's helped you out. And I'm sorry it's taken so long. But there you go. It's uh, it's something that you can work on. You can manipulate this, manipulate that synth, and you can turn it into five more cool sounds, and save them for yourself for next time. So um. Cool, thanks guys.